Mapping geospatial data. Geographic data include both a front-end geometry, meaning what you see on the screen in GIS software, and the back-end database. The front-end geometry and back-end database are different for raster and vector data. Vector data's front-end geometry is composed of coordinates and displayed as points, lines, and polygons. Here is a layer with polygon geometry. The back-end database is called an attribute table. Each row is equivalent to one feature on the map. In this example, each row represents a different state polygon. Each column is a different piece of information about that feature. In this example, there's information about the state name and the population per square mile. All vector data also include a column of unique ID numbers for each feature and the type of vector shape which includes internal coordinate information the GIS software uses to display the data. Vector data can have a large number of columns associated with their geometries, each of which can then be symbolized to produce different maps. The map can be symbolized based on any column in the attribute table, meaning the color, size, shape, pattern, etc. of a feature can be changed to correspond to the data in a particular column. Here the map was color-coded based on a qualitative or categorical variable, state name, where each unique state name was symbolized by a different color. Here the map was color-coded based on a quantitative or numerical variable, population per square mile, where each class of values was symbolized by a different shade of the same color. We will talk about classes in depth in another video. Raster data are displayed differently than vector data in GIS software. Instead of being represented by different shapes, raster data is a continuous cell matrix. Each cell or pixel is the same size and has its own value. Rasters can only symbolize one variable at a time due to how its attribute table functions. Here the map is color-coded based on a quantitative or numerical variable, elevation, where each unique pixel value is symbolized by a shade of gray stretching from black to white. Raster data have an attribute table with specific properties, a unique ID for each type of cell or pixel, the value of that cell, and the count of other cells with the same value. In this example, the row with ID 0 includes cells that have an elevation value of 1 meter, and there are 1,399 cells with this value.